All right, we are officially recording. Welcome everybody to the Wednesday afternoon team call with Dynasty Strong. I'm super excited to be able to present with you guys, to present to you guys today, but uh, more importantly, that I have three incredible coaches and leaders on this team also helping me do this. Um, just a couple of announcements. Remember that we have Super Saturday coming up, not this weekend, but next weekend, and they're actually calling it Super Weekend now because some events may be on Friday, some may be on Saturday, and some will be on Sunday. So look, um, go to coach, www.coachfaq.com, type in Super Saturday, January 2019. There'll be some hyperlinks in, that will take you to an interactive map that show you where the location uh, for the one closest to you is. If there's not one close to you, or it's too far for you to travel to for some reason, know that you can register to host your own, and you can do it from your own house, even if nobody comes. Um, and also a, a note that I remember hearing on National Wake Up Call is that if you are registered to host the Super Saturday, they're gonna send you a, like a Transform 20 sneak peek type of workout that you can do uh, for your Super Saturday, Super Weekend event. So that's the first thing that I want you guys to take note of. The second thing is remember that we have Summit coming up in seven months in July in Indianapolis. If you haven't registered for Summit yet, you can see all the details at www.coachsummit.com. You're also, you guys can uh, Facebook message me, email me, whatever you need if you have questions about that or concerns. Summit is for everybody, not just veteran coaches, but brand new coaches alike. And uh, we're, we've got our fingers crossed that Chris Pandolfo will be the Beachbody Challenge champion winner. This year, he's been working hard on that. He submitted his results. Um, he's lost over 165 pounds uh, since he started with us over 17 months ago. So um, that's my favorite part of Summit. There's, there's training workshops. There's all kinds of um, opportunities for you to learn and grow from the best coaches in the company that are growing at the fastest rate and doing it the right way. But my favorite part is always um, seeing the Beachbody Challenge champion winners and hearing their stories and seeing them celebrated. So we want you to be at the summit. Um, it's going to be important. And if you're on this call on the, the topic today on the road to elite, you need to like be all in. You need to make sure that you've ordered your ticket and shown because if you haven't done that yet, I, I don't believe you'll take the steps necessary to achieve elite and do the things that we're going to talk about today. So um, we are going to talk about the road to elite. So elite is a program. I know many of you guys have probably heard of this program before. Um, you've heard of the elite coaches or maybe the elite top 10. And it looks like it might look like this big, scary, far off thing. That's for the coaches that have been in here for a while to achieve. But we're going to show you guys today. There have been coaches that have achieved elite in one year's time. Um, but one, one thing that I've noticed over the past seven and a half years of being a coach is that when you fall short of elite, like if you set it for the goal and you fall short, sometimes it's like this devastating blow, like, ah, oh, failure. We, I missed, we missed this goal of elite. Um, the way that we have as a company created the elite program for 2020, which means we earn it in 2019 and then you're qualified and named as a 2020 elite coach. So just to clarify, that's why it says 2020 elite coach is you earn it during 2019 and then you have that title of 2020 elite. So um, what, what does it mean to be elite? We're going to talk about how to earn elite points, what all of the qualifications are today. One thing that I want you guys to know is as we're going through this today, I want you guys to feel free to like use the chat feature and ask questions. If something doesn't make sense, please ask. Um, also feel free to unmute yourself and ask and interrupt any of us that are presenting and say, hey, what if, I don't understand that. Could you clarify on that? Uh, because we're here to make sure that you understand what it is. Uh, one thing that I love about the new program called Road to Elite is before we, we've, we've had like the elite program where you can become an elite coach or a premier coach. And then we've had uh, this thing called the leadership ladder. And they didn't really connect. They're like two different programs. And it's what the Road to Elite program has done is it's combined the two things together. So the leadership ladder and the Road to Elite are all going to be really combined together in one program. And we're going to clarify how that works today. And please feel free to answer, ask us any questions as we go through it. But I'm going to go through some basic things for you right now. Some of it won't make sense, but we're going to clarify each of these things as we go through here. So the Road to Elite. 
so the end goal of this program, there's going to be four steps you can go through to get to become an elite leader in for 2020. And the qualifications to be an elite leader is you need to be a five-star diamond. So you need to be a, fi a paid five-star diamond for six consecutive weeks in 2019. You need to have 105 balanced leadership points, and there's a cap in each category. So what we're going to talk about through these slides is we're going to go through what these, how you get these bonus, these balanced leadership points, how you get the leadership points, what categories you can earn these points in, and how to earn them in each of those categories. So we're going to talk about that in the call, and then you need to sponsor two new diamond coaches. So if you're right now a diamond coach or ruby or emerald and you're going for road to elite and you want to be an elite team this year, you're obviously going to have your two new diamonds because you need to have five diamonds by the end of the year. So that one's going to be taken care of there. That one's for someone like me that's been a five-star diamond for six and a half years. Um, I need to produce two new diamond coaches. So that's why it says two new diamonds right there. So we're going to walk through it, um, the categories, and we'll, we'll step through them on each slide. But there's going to be a cap. That's why it says um, right here under 105 balanced leadership points, there's going to be a cap in each category. So there's going to be the acquisition PV APV. Earn one elite point for every 500 PV produced for your personally sponsored coaches from 2018 and customers who placed their first order in 2018. I'm not going to read all these because we're going to go through them in each slide and I'll let each leader represent that. But there's going to be a 50 point cap in that category a 50, uh, 25 point cap in the second category and a 50 point cap in the third category. And I know if you've never uh, looked at what it takes to be an elite coach and you're seeing that right now, you're like, I'm confused. I don't know if this is for me, but we'll walk through the slides and it's going to, we're going to make it very clear on what that is. So the coaches that we have presenting with us today, we have uh, Jennifer Greenberg. She's a nine star diamond, three time elite coach. Um, she's the third coach that ever joined our my team when I first started. She's going to go through a couple of these point categories. And then we're going to have Yolanda uh, go through one of the point categories. She is a brand new coach, uh, went diamond in 30 days, earned $750 in her first month. She's going to be talking about one of the categories. And then we're going to have Beth go through, through the whole leadership ladder aspect um, of this a road to elite process. And then I'm going to end out uh, with the end slides where we'll ask questions where you guys can ask me any questions that you guys have and then I will walk through some really detailed stuff for you guys so uh, we're gonna have Jennifer first go um, and speak to us about the first two categories that you can earn points in and Jennifer I'll let you take it over from right here okay am I gonna be able to move slides too I'll, I'll move them for you just say swipe okay. forward to, or okay. like, all right, guys. Well, first of all, welcome and thanks so much for hopping on today. I remember like the first time that I really decided to um, commit to becoming an elite coach. And, and I remember that really scary and confused feeling that I had when I started to like learn what all the qualifications are. But that's really where it starts is learning what it actually is. Because when you do break it down, um, you know, category by category, you realize how like everything kind of works together anyways. So, um, you know, if you're doing those behaviors, you're going to end up, you know, hitting your goal at the end of the year or earlier. Um, so I've been, I've been a coach now for almost eight years, like, like Scotty as well. And, um, and I think that these, like, these are things that you should be having as a goal for your business anyways. You know, like even if that, even if elite isn't your goal, um, you know, that these are like benchmarks that we should be doing to like have a successful thriving business. And then it's just like a bonus reward that you end up, you know, having this title for your team at the, you know, going into the next year. So the first one is the leadership APV points. And, um, Basically, and I love how these slides um, break it down because at the bottom, you'll see that there's like three categories. So there's 2018 PS coaches, 2019 PS coaches, and 2019 customers. So it really helps to clarify which categories go for which, um, you know, like customer groups. 
And the leadership points are only going to apply to your 2019 coaches and customers. So when it says PS coaches, it means ones that are personally sponsored by you. So it doesn't have anything to do with your downline. Um, if you have multiple business centers, it's, um, it qualifies for that. So anybody that you have personally sponsored, but it doesn't count for your spouse account, anything like that, like those won't count for you. It has to be like you as the sponsor and they have to have signed up on in 2019. Same for customers. So they have to be a newly enrolled customer in 2019. It doesn't matter if they like signed up. Um, and order something five years ago and then they showed back up on January 1st like it wouldn't be a new uh, customer enrollment so um, so those are the ones that are going to count for this category so each one you get one point for every time you roll um, you get like a combined 500 points in total and the points are you know similar they kind of match up with you know how how much you get for like Shakeology is 90 and recovery is 52 like those are all like they kind of go hand in hand as to how those you get to the 500 so that's how you earn those points and you can see that um, like kind of the strategy behind that is if you're enrolling a new coach that you know let's say you have a new coach that starts in January the longer that they're staying consistent using um, auto shipments of Shakeology, Performance Line, Three Day Refresh, whatever, um, you're going to be building points in those categories. And so the reason that you're incentivized to do this is because we want our coaches and customers to stay active using these products so that they get long lasting results. Um, you know, so if you have somebody that signs up and then they have one month and then that's it, then, um, you know, it's going to be harder to to keep those points coming in. So it's just kind of a way to help encourage you to keep your coaches and customers engaged, plugged into challenge groups, and using these products so that they're getting great results. Um, did that make sense? To any, does anyone have any questions on that category? The thing to remember with this one is it's only 2019. So these are points coming in from new, new enrollments. And then the next one, And I forgot what the cap is on that one. I think it was 50, 50 points. Yeah, so, um, okay. sorry, I'm like muted talking back there. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, um, all right. So the next one is leadership SC points. And as you can see on the little diagram on the bottom, this is gonna count for 2018 and 2019 um, PS coaches. So again, this is only for your personally sponsored and this has to do with your personally sponsored coaches hitting success club. So every time that you, one of your personally sponsored coaches that enrolled in last year or this year, anytime that they hit success club, doesn't matter if it's SC5 or 10 or 100, doesn't matter the number of points as long as it's the minimum five, um, you get a point for that. And if you also um, earn success club that month, then it's double. So for example, if I had five personally sponsored coaches between 2018 and 2019 hit success club, and I also hit success club, then I would get 10 points in this category for that month. Um, so that's like always really a great way to, you know, to get your elite points is in this category, because if you're getting success club and your coaches are getting success club, then you're probably also getting, um, the APV points as well. So those kind of work hand in hand there. And um, of course, if you're helping your coaches get success club, then you're helping them to be successful in their businesses, which is great too. So um, I think that's pretty much it um, with that. I mean, it's just the, the thing to remember is that it only counts for you know this year and last year. And um, the sooner that you can get people on board and learning how to enroll their own customers and get people signed up um, and get them hitting success club then they realize the benefits and the awesomeness of getting success club and you can get them on track to success starters and you know the three month um, success club prize and everything um, i'm sure we have a million other calls you can watch on the benefits of success club but it's one of those things where if you can ingrain this into the behavior of your new coaches right off the bat um, then it's just going to really help your business to grow and having them hitting success club is going to help them 
of course, you know, help you get to that five star goal too. Awesome. Thank you, Jen. Does anybody have any questions on those two categories? So this category caps out at um, 25 points. And the one that she talked about, leadership APV points, caps out at 50 points. So any questions, anybody, on those two categories? Okay. And if you do, don't be, don't be afraid to ask. Next, we're going to we're gonna have Yolanda talk about the leadership PS1 plus SC points. So Yolanda, you're up. We can't hear you. Oh, I'll unmute you. There you go. Okay. Hello. Hey, everybody. <laughs> All right. So in this category, this is for 2019 only. So from January to 2019, um, from January 2019 to December 2019, any uh, new personally sponsored coach that you enroll, if you can help them get to Success Club in their first two months, you get one point. Now, for example, if you enroll them like on January 15th, they have from January 15th to the end of that month to qualify or if they don't hit it in January, all of February to qualify. Now, once they hit the Success Club, you get one point and then that's it. If they hit Success Club again, you've already gotten your point. This is a one and done and it's one point per person. So uh, you won't get another point for that person, but what you wanna do is just keep encouraging your personally sponsored coaches to hit Success Club within their first two months and you get points. And I don't know what the cap on this one is. Okay, let me look at the cap. Awesome, Yolanda. I'm gonna clarify one thing. It's not, it's one success club point. Okay. One, one success, success club point. They don't have to actually achieve success club to get the point okay. in this category. They have to have one point, um, like Yolanda shared, and then they get, you get one point for them. And they have to get that first point in their first, the month they enroll or the month after. So like Yolanda said, if they sign up in January, let's say they don't get it in January, but they get it in February, then you get that one point. Does that make sense for everybody? Let me look at the cap. Awesome, thank you, Yolanda. So, oh, I'm trying to find where my image, I have an image of this, give me one second. So the point cap on this one, I think it's 50, but I just wanna double check. Okay, the point cap for this category is um, 50, 50 points in this category as well. Okay, awesome. So those are the three categories in which you can earn points when you hear uh, on this first slide right here that you need 105 balanced leadership points. And as Beth speaks next and goes through each step of the road to elite, it's gonna share on each of those steps how many balanced leadership points that you need to have. So when you see that number, um, those, num those points will come from one of those three categories that Jennifer and Yolanda talked about. So. With that being said, Beth, I'm gonna pass the time over to you to talk about the leadership ladder on the road to elite. Beth, are you here? Let's see, I think. Okay, there you are. Can you hear me? Now I can hear you, yes. Okay, cool. I thought I was gonna to have to hop over on my phone, so we're good? Yeah, it's a little bit quiet on my end, but we can hear you. Okay, I'll try to talk a little bit louder. Okay. Okay, cool. So I am super excited to be able to chat a little bit about the leadership ladder aspect of this road to elite specifically, because it's, it's kind of a piece of the puzzle as far as goal setting within my business is concerned that I was always a little bit confused about as far as how it kind of aligned with rank advancement and, and the direction I was moving my business in. I knew that I was supposed to climb this ladder, but as far as the requirements and stipulations and things like that were concerned, it was always a little confusing to me. And so whenever I started to learn more about this Road to Relief program, I was really excited because I feel like this really does kind of simplify and align all of our programs. And so kind of like Jennifer mentioned earlier, regardless of whether your goal is to hit elite or not, 
if you focus on these specific areas and you use these things that we're talking about as benchmarks, your business is going to grow and you're going to move in the right direction. So um, let's go on ahead and start. We're gonna kind of walk through what this road to elite looks like. And we're gonna talk about each one of these uh, specific aspects of um, this road essentially individually. And you'll kind of see how they all kind of tie in together and how you can move from one to the next. So we're gonna start with the first one, which is called Team Builder. So in order to hit this very first rank of team builder, let me start by saying that all coaches in the entire network are gonna start here, right? It doesn't matter if you're Scotty Hobbs or Melanie Mitro or Ashley Molstad or Beth Isbell, you are starting here as a team builder, which is really cool because it kind of puts everybody on a really kind of level and even playing field. So in order to reach this very first benchmark of a team builder, you have to first become a diamond coach. Um, whether you're already a diamond coach or you're an emerald coach or you're just a brand new baby coach, um, you have to hit diamond and you have to hold it for six consecutive weeks. In case that's not something that you're familiar with, in order to officially be considered a lifetime diamond, you have to hold that rank for six consecutive weeks. Another stipulation to hitting this team builder benchmark is that you have to have 25 of those leadership points that we just talked about. So whether you're getting those points from the APP, whether it's your personally sponsored coaches from last year and this year in Success Club or your brand new coaches in Success Club, once you hit those 25 leadership points, you hold your diamond rank for six weeks, you add a new Emerald coach to your team. So you sign one personally sponsored coach who hits the rank of Emerald and you have a thousand or more total volume points on your weak leg for any five consecutive weeks, then you've hit this specific rank essentially of team builder on the road to elite. Now the hundred, the thousand plus TV on your weak leg, um, that can be consistent of any five consecutive weeks. So it doesn't have to be just in one month. It can overlap the course of two months, obviously since it's five weeks, but as long as five weeks, five consecutive weeks back to back, you have at least a thousand total volume on your weak leg and you meet these other three bullet points, you will advance to on this road to elite to what we call a team builder. Um, and so I know those, th those things maybe sound a little bit scary, especially if you're a brand new coach, but just keep in mind that these daily behaviors and these business activities that you should be doing to move your business forward anyways, is all correlated and intertwined between these four benchmarks that you need to hit in order to become an official team builder. So for example, if you're a diamond coach, the chances of you having a thousand total volume in any five consecutive weeks on your week leg is probably already happening anyways. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind as well. Um, and then if you do hit this benchmark, not only are you considered a team builder, but you get a really cool little crystal trophy like that was on the slide a couple um, before. I think, it, yeah, right there. You get one of those cool little team builder uh, crystal trophies from Beachbody. So just a kind of an, an, a cool little added incentive there. So once you hit team builder, it's time to move on to the next piece of the puzzle, and that is shooting for what we call a team leader, um, which what I feel like is kind of always been like what you're supposed to shoot for as, as kind of a diamond coach in, in the previous form of the leadership ladder. So um, same kind of stipulations here. They're just kind of ramped up and amped up a little bit. Oh, okay. So the sound is good. So I can stop yelling. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Sorry about that. Um, um, okay, so the next stop is team, le team leader, and I hope you can kind of see as we navigate these that regardless of whether your goal is elite or not, which it should be, right, because we, we're supposed to be dreaming big here, um, you're still getting rewarded along the way for moving your business forward. So in order to hit this next rank of team leader, you have to be a one-star diamond and hold that for six consecutive weeks. There's kind of a running theme there. You have to hold your, your rank advancement for six consecutive weeks in order for it to be official. Instead of 25 leadership points, you now have to have 50. And remember, these are 50 balanced leadership points, meaning those three categories that um, Jennifer and Yolanda just talked about, you have to make sure that you're not getting all 50 of those points from, you know, the ATV category and that they, you know, or that you're, you can max out your points in ATV, obviously, but that um, once we get past this 50 point that they're balanced across all boards and that, and that you're not going over that because then those points don't essentially count towards these advancements. Um, so 50 leadership points, you have to have two new personally sponsored coaches that have advanced their business to Emerald or one new diamond. And then as far as TV is concerned, you have to have 2,500 
or more total volume on your week leg in any five consecutive weeks. So same kind of categories here as far as rank advancement, leadership points, personally sponsored coaches and their rank advancement, and TV, those numbers are just amped up a little bit. And once you hit all four of these, not only are you a team leader, but you also get this really cool backpack. Some of you may have seen these from last year um, that they gave out to the new team leaders, but you get this cool backpack. And then you also get the next piece of that really cool um, crystal trophy that will label you as a team leader as well. And you're one step closer to becoming an elite coach um, for 2020. So that's team leader. The next stop is gonna be premier leader. Same kind of thing here, except instead of a one-star diamond, you have to be a two-star diamond held for six consecutive weeks. You have to have 75 of those leadership points. And this is where those caps really kind of come into play. Since our three different categories cap out at 50, 25, and 50, you have to make sure that all 75 of these points aren't coming from one category because they won't count because they're capped. Um, and so that's what we mean when we say balanced leadership points. So um, if you have, let's say 50 in the um, APV category, 25 need to come from one of the other two categories. We don't need anything more than 50 coming from one. Of course, those extra points for those of you that are interested in like, um, like, where you, where you kind of rank in the whole coach system, those will count towards that. But as far as hitting elite, they're capped. They don't count. Um, you do need one new personally sponsored diamond coach and then 5,000 or more TV on your week leg in any five consecutive weeks. So once again, those numbers may sound a little scary to you, but just keep in mind that all of these business activities are kind of intertwined within all four of these specific benchmarks. And if you're a two-star diamond, and you're holding that rank you know, consistently past your six consecutive weeks and you're getting these leadership points and your personally sponsored coaches are rank advancing um, and you're running successful challenge groups, then that, those 5,000 TV points on your week leg um, within those five consecutive weeks is probably something that's just gonna be a byproduct of all of those other things. So don't let that um, scare you too bad. And then of course, you get another piece of that crystal trophy that will label you as a premier leader you'll be a premier coach and you are one step closer to elite, which is what we're gonna talk about next. So these kind of piggyback off of that slide Scotty talked about um, at the beginning. And, oh, my chat just popped up. Um, as far as the specific benchmarks that you have to hit in order to become an elite coach, and here they are. You have to be a five-star diamond held for six consecutive weeks. You have to have 105 of those leadership points that are balanced, meaning you're not going over the cap in any of the categories. Um, if you are already a five-star diamond or above, you need to remember that you need to have two brand new diamonds. Um, if you are a three-star diamond or below, then this will just kind of come with the territory of having to hit that, that five-star um, diamond status as well. And then the TV stays the same as it does for a premier coach. You need 5,000 total volume on your week leg for any five consecutive weeks. Um, another kind of little side note, how I've kind of been talking about um, how all four of these benchmarks specifically kind of, you know, correlate to each other and, and are kind of um, a byproduct of hitting one, one or the other. Um, they talked about on the corporate training call and they were talking about this road to elite that 100% of last year's elite coaches already had that 5,000 total volume on their week leg. So just to kind of reiter reiterate the point that all of these things correlate to each other. So don't let those numbers or, the, or that rank advancement kind of scare you away um, or freak you out a little bit. Because if you're, if you're doing the daily business activities and you're following the vitals and you're doing everything you're supposed to, regardless of whether this is your goal or not, your business will be moving forward and you will um, get to a point where you can kind of just check all these off and, and navigate your way down this path and this road to elite. So there it is. Are there any questions? I see some chats, but I think you're getting those answered. Um, want me to answer, answer Michelle's question right now? Yeah. And yeah, go for it. Make sure I get this right. Uh, can points? Okay, what, for those that are listening and won't see the chat, uh, Lindsay asked, uh, do you need one new diamond coach? Um, does this mean they have to be a new coach as of 2019 and hit diamond in their first year or just hit diamond for the first time in 2019, regardless of when they started coaching? So it just means they need to hit diamond for the very first time. So let's say Beth was my personal sponsor coach that joined with me in 2015 and she hits diamond for the first time in 2019. That would count for my one 
new, she would count as my one new diamond coach. So that answers that question. So it doesn't matter what year they signed up as long as it's their first time. Um, now, if Beth was my new coach from 2015, she hit diamond in 2015, lost her diamond, lost her mojo, and then it's like, I'm fired up, 2019, we're going to do this, and she goes back to diamond, that wouldn't count because it wouldn't be a first-time diamond coach. So the next question is from Michelle, says, Scotty, can points, uh, can points and new emeralds diamonds come from second CBC to count towards the qualification? So all success club points roll up through business centers. Um, but so we're not talking about success. That's about success club points. Uh, the new diamonds, let's say I have a fourth business center that I open up in or a second business center that I open up in 2019 and I advance that business center to diamond that counts as one of my new personally sponsored diamond coaches because a business center, a second, third, fourth business center is a personally sponsored coach of, um, of yourself. So does that make sense? Does that help answer that question? And then the other one, new emeralds. Yep. And there you go. So that answers that. So Beth, I'll let you continue on. Let's see. Where were we at? Right here. It's like some of the slides disappeared. Let me do something real quick. Okay. <laughs> oh, I deleted some slides on accident when I was doing the chat. We'll fix that. Okay. Okay. Cool. There you go, right here. Yeah, right here. So this slide just kind of reiterates um, everything that we just talked about. You can kind of see um, going from team builder on this slide, it really kind of just breaks down and shows you the difference between what those points look like, um, what your rank needs to look like, what your PS coaches, um, as far as rank advancement needs to look like, and then what that TV on your week leg within any five consecutive weeks look, need to look like. So um, I saw a chat that said, as a brand new coach, this is exciting and a little overwhelming all at the same time. And that's okay. That's a good thing. It's good that you're excited. It's, it's good that you're overwhelmed because it means that you're paying attention and that um, you're trying to kind of digest it and make sense of it. Um, and if and if it scares you a little bit, then that means you're just going to work harder towards it. So um, like I said, I'm really excited about this Road to Elite program because um, it really does kind of simplify and align everything that we should be doing in our business anyways, um, kind of into one seamless sort of path to get us to those big scary goals that we have. Awesome. Okay. I will take over now. Beth, that was awesome explanation. Um, Okay, Hannah says, I've been a coach since October 2017. So if you're a new coach coming in thinking, wow, well, it's amazing you're here. Oh, she says, well, it's amazing you're here. My brain couldn't even fathom it last year. <laughs> and I've been going on for five months. So, okay, so um, Lindsay asked, where can you find your elite points? I'm going to show you guys right now. Um, I'm, I'll share my screen. Give me one second. Because this is going to be important for you guys as we do this, as you track your elite points throughout the year next year. Um, Beth, can you see, do you still see the slides or do you see my coach online office? I see the slides. Okay. Give me one second to change that. We're going to see each other for a minute, everybody. I'm going to share real quick my coach online office right here. So you go to monitor my business and then you're going to go over here to qualification. You're going to go to elite and premier qualification. And right here, it's gonna take a second to load. It's gonna show your elite and premier ranking. It'll show everything right here. So it'll show your elite ranking in the entire company. It's gonna show your highest paid rank for six consecutive weeks. It's gonna show your new coaches who advanced into that. You can see how fast my internet is. <laughs> so you can see like, this is my last year's. It has, it's updated as of 1225. Um, you're gonna see that the highest rank for six weeks was nine star. The person sponsored who advanced, advanced two diamonds in 2018. Uh, and you can see it all right here. And then you're going to see the points broken down into the categories right there and the total amount of elite points. So that's where you see that. Now I'll go back to sharing the slides. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but do you only start seeing that in your back office when you hit diamond? Can you see that as an emerald? You know, I don't know how it's going to be for this, for this year. Um, we'll have to have one of you guys that's an emerald go in there and check um, that. I, I believe it will show it. It will just show the highest paid rank and it will just show emerald. And then the qualification check marks won't be there for the category that you're working towards. 
So um, let's go through this. I'm going to go through, like Beth, you know, Jennifer, uh, Yolanda, Beth went through all the details of how to get points, uh, each benchmark of the road to elite from team builder to team leader to premier leader to elite leader. Uh, I'm going to talk about some of the benefits. What do you get when you're a premier coach? What do you get when you're uh, an elite leader? And then from there, I'm also going to uh, be open to having you guys answer any questions for me. Or, sorry, my son came in and like slapped my thigh, so I messed up my words there. <laughs> He's three, what can you say? Um, I'll be here to answer any questions that you guys have. Um, this one last slide though I wanna to touch on, the elite ranking points. You get, there's, there's we talked about um, like caps at 50 point, points for the first category, 25 for the second category, 50 for the third category. Now if you're out there, and you're like, I want to be in the top 10 of the company and earn the top 10 trip. Or I want to be in the top 25 of the company. Uh, or I want to be, you're going to hear when I talk about some of the elite perks that the top 200 elite coaches get a $400 bonus every single month. Like you're going to hear about that. So if you want to be in the top 200 or the top 10, there's not caps on the categories for uh, points in the race for the top 10 in that number. So the, the, there's extra ways to get points if you're going for top 10 or you wanna be in the top 200 for the extra $400 bonus once you achieve elite. And you get 25 elite ranking points for each time one of your personally sponsored coaches goes advances from diamond to one star, from one to two, two to three, up to five star diamond. So let's say Beth is my PS coach and she's a diamond coach, she advances to one star diamond. I would get 25 elite, elite ranking points. Remember, these don't count for the initial leadership points to become elite, an elite coach, where we're talking about right here, the 105 elite balanced leadership points. These points do not count there. They only count on top of the points that you already have to be in the top 10, to be the top 10 coach or in the top 200. Um, when she goes from one star to two star, I would get 25 more points. When she goes from two star to three star, I would get 25 more points. So that gives you points in developing leaders beyond diamond, beyond one star diamond. You also get 20, this is new, you also get 25 elite ranking points for each time that you have a personally sponsored coach that hits the success starter program in 2019, which means they hit success club in their first three months. So if we wrap around to everything that we talked about and you're working on getting a brand new PS coach, their first success club point, Boom, you, you knock out that category and get one point for them that you're allowed to get for each coach. If you help them get into success club and actually and achieve success club five, then you get the points there. And they're actually doubled, remember, if you hit success club. So you get two points right there. And you can get points in that category every single month. But on top of that, if you help them get success club in their third month, they're going to earn their free ticket to summit, but you're also going to get 25 more points in this elite ranking system right here. So you can really see how everything ties together. Get your coaches success by helping them sell their first challenge back. That's getting their first point. Helping them get into success club and that habit, that helps you get points in that other category. If they're doing that, they're selling challenge packs, they're gonna have volume points, which is gonna help you get the points in the category of the 500 that Jennifer talked about, where there's 500 combined uh, volume points for your 2019 customers and coaches. They're going to be adding points in that category as well, and you're going to get points in every single category for that coach and also uh, help them get into the success starter program. So, and you guys can ask questions, remember. So, those that's the extra ways to get elite ranking points for the top 10 or to be in the top uh, 200 of the company to get the $400 bonus. So, let's talk about the premier coach rewards real quick. Obviously, you get the title of a 2020 premier coach. You get on stage recognition at Coach Summit in 2020. You get some pretty awesome custom premier coach apparel, which is usually like an awesome hoodie or a jacket. Uh, you're going to get two VIP floor seats at 2020 Summit. So you don't got to sit up in the nosebleed section. You can come down and sit on the floor. Uh, you're also going to get an invitation to the premier reception at the 2020 Success Club trip. Uh, which we don't know where that one is yet, but you're going to get um, the opportunity to go to a reception, an awesome reception at that. I'm going to tell you the first time I went to an elite reception, I was like, 
what? People live like this? People like get celebrated at work in, in this type of manner? I, it was nothing I was ever used to from my job career, so it was super awesome. Uh, but you, you get that t type of awesome stuff. But you must be registered um, and attend the trip to receive that benefit. You know, if they're not going to send you something if you're not at the success club trip in place of that. So now let's talk about the, the perks of an elite coach. You get obviously the title of a 2020 elite coach. Uh, that for you, you and your team. You get on stage recognition at Summit in 2020. You get an express line checkout at the core. So the core, if you've never been to Summit yet, has all the awesome apparel and supplements and everything. And you can just walk right in. You don't have to wait in line. Uh, and when there's 25,000 people, that's an awesome perk to have, um, especially with how busy Summit is. You get a 2020 custom elite jacket. You get front of line access to the pre-selected workouts at Summit. You get an elite evening event at Summit 2020. And there's going to be also $200 uh, awarded to you because Summit starts on Thursday. And the elite event, the elite evening is always on Wednesday. They're going to give you $200 in your coach earnings to help cover your night hotel to come to Summit one night early. And those are amazing. Those elite events are super awesome. I remember we were in Nashville. It was like a five-star like kind of dining experience and some Nashville stars from the actual show Nashville were there performing for us. It's super awesome. Um, but you get an elite evening like that. You get two VIP seats right at the front uh, in the general session and the celebration at 2020 Summit. You get VIP seats at certain events at the 2020 Leadership Retreat, which we didn't even talk about in this call, but we'll talk about that at some other point. Uh, you're going to get an invitation to the elite session uh, at the 2020 Leadership Retreat, uh, which includes also an extra one-night lodging that's covered and paid for. And you have to qualify for leadership retreat. But if you are qualified for elite, you're basically going to have everything you need to qualify to go to the free leadership event and retreat also. If you guys are watching, that's the event we just went, Gabby and I went to in October to Las Vegas. That's the leadership retreat. You're also going to get an invite to the elite reception at the 2020 Success Club trip. Uh, you must be obviously registered for the Success Club trip. And then this is where I was talking about earlier on the uh, the. Um, the bonus points kind of for the elite qualification, you get $100 per qualifying um, month for the elite bonus and the top 200 elite coaches get um, $400. So every elite coach gets $100 for the qualifying month. What a qualifying month means is you have to hit, six. so once you qualify and achieve elite, then every month the next year you get a $100 bonus if you hit success club that month. And if you're in the top 200 in the elite ranking, you get a $400 bonus each month if you hit success club. That's what that means by um, per qualifying month because you qualified for elite, but you get the $400 bonus if you hit success club that month um, for a total of $500 for the qualifying month. So with that being said, I'm going to recap on this. This is pretty cool. We've never had this before. Um, it's, it's pretty awesome because I looked at like, when, when I missed, like we hit elite five times in a row and then we missed it as a team. I missed it. We missed it as a team and you like get nothing. It was kind of like this deflating, like, ah, we used to go from getting all of that to nothing. So it's pretty awesome that this year at each step on that road to elite, you get one of these little trophies and it's, it's like heavy duty glass trophy. It's not a plastic flimsy little thing. And you, when you hit team builder, you get that first base. And when you get team leader, you get to stack that on top of there. So you get one point, uh, one, one of these trophies as you hit, hit, hit each benchmark. And guys, it's not going to say Melanie Mitro at the top. It's going to say Beth. It's going to say Scotty. It's going to say Hannah uh, as you get that and you are awarded with that. So I'm going to ask you guys to think about something right now. What is your 2019 year end goal on this road to elite? Which what do you want to achieve out of that? And then also, uh, the most important part right now is, I'm just going to end the slide so we can see each other, is what goals, let me put it on the thing where I can see everybody. What questions do you guys have for me right now while we're all on here live? So I'm going to look at the chat while I wait for someone to unmute. Okay, Lamar says, I'm looking forward to learning this new Beachbody Coach language. No questions for now, just realizing there's a lot of studying and planning, ready to go. Thanks to everyone, looking forward to meet you all. Awesome. So that's, 
that's great. Like it is a lot of Beachbody lingo, like like team volume points, elite points, premier, all of these new things. The one thing that I want you to, it, it is important as you build this business to have knowledge about. When you have knowledge about something, some of the fear dissipates and goes away. If you don't have any knowledge about it, you're, it's like this big scary thing. What I love about this leadership ladder as I wait for someone to ask a question, it's like, there's this saying, I don't know exactly how it goes. It's like, there's nothing worse than climbing the ladder to only to realize that you're, it's leaning against the wrong wall. The thing that I want you guys to understand is that this ladder, the leadership ladder is leaning against the correct wall that leads to building your business, building your income, building your volume, and building other people on your team to their goals as well. So uh, what questions do you guys have before we log off of this call today? Anything not make sense? And there's no dumb questions. Okay. All right. Oh, Lindsay says, not directly related to elite, but there's so much work to be done and I'm excited. But do you have all the assistance? <laughs> but do you do you all have assistance? It's something I've considered, but I don't know where to start. I'm gonna I'm just gonna talk about that because I had a conversation with one of my coaches that had no idea that I have an assistant. And they were like, it was keeping them from going after what what I've achieved because they're like, I see how much your work and you're on, and I don't want that. Like, I don't want that lifestyle. It's too much for me to, to think about working that much. I do have assistants, so that you guys know. I have two full-time assistants now. That's two full-time assistants that work 40 hours a week, and three, if you count my dad, who helps watch the kids so that um, we can go to super Saturday events so that I can go skiing with Mike and Jen Greenberg and Kiera and CJ Ward in like two weeks uh, with some of our leaders. So like I have assistance, so don't let it scare you. If it looks like I'm working 24 seven, um, I'm working like six to seven hours a day as, and this is my full-time job and career in my first year though. I didn't have any assistance. I did it all on my own. Uh, I got, I hired my first assistant about 14 months into my business and it was to help me like post and comment on people's posts on Instagram and Facebook and engage like that. So there you go. Uh, that answers that question. And then Heather says, how much realistically does it take to get to 2,500 or 5,000 team volume, which were the benchmarks for Premier and Elite. How much realistically does it take? Um, I like to break it down. That's between a five-week period. So what I would do is if you're looking at the 2,500, is I would take the 2,500 and I would divide that by the six weeks. I'm not good at math, so I'm going to get my calculator out. If someone is faster than me, you could show off your skills and just blurt it. So you go 2,500 divided by, I like reverse engineering, divided by six weeks. You're looking at 615 volume um, on your week leg uh, every, for, the, for each week of that six weeks. So if you're looking at 600 volume, you could look at that in, in a lot of ways. That could be you have six active coaches that are using Shakeology alone at 90 volume or seven. Let's say you have seven active coaches each week on that on your week leg that their Shakeology order goes through at 90 volume points and you're looking at about 600 volume points a week. And that's if none of them made a single sell themselves. That's their own Shakeology order. So if you, you could look at it another way, that's three coaches each week that have their Shakeology order and one customer on Shakeology. So they're producing 180 volume points a week. It could be one rock star. It could be, um, I have Lamar, and he's hitting Success Club 10 every single month, and he's got 800 volume every week from his own Shakeology and some of his customers. So I could have that whole category with one coach. I could have it between six or seven coaches. Does that make sense? So I would begin to break it down like that, and it's really quite realistic if you focus on the, the basics and the vitals that we talked about today of getting your new coach success, their first sell helping them gain that confidence that they can do that and then getting them into the activity of hitting success club. If you're, if you have a new coach, let's say I'm looking at Kiara, Jennifer and Lamar, let's say these are my three coaches on my week leg and they're hitting success club five every single month and they're on their own Shakeology. That's going to be like 500 plus volume points from each of those coaches 
um, every single month. We're not talking about week here, but you can see how that can start to add up like that. For example, if you look, I hit Success Club 10 every single month, and my volume is about, my personal volume weekly is between 1,000 and 1,500 volume points every single week. So, so like I'm producing when Lindsay's going for elite or whatever it is, if I was her new coach, like I started and I hit success club 10 my first month and every single month for 93 months since I started. So I've produced for Lindsay on average a thousand to 2000 volume points every single uh, week, not month. So you can see how you can break it down in a lot of different ways. It could be a lot of active coaches enjoying their product. It could be a few, you know, coaches enjoying the product and a couple people hitting success club, but you can see how that can begin to add up to hit that um, team volume weekly. So it's super helpful and very break downable. I like that word. So I'd love to know how you support new coaches to work on those leadership points in those two categories. Okay. I'm going to go through these questions. You know, everybody's so different. Um, how do I support my leadership points? My primary focus is to help somebody get their first sell in their first 10 days. Because if they can do that, it's good. they're gonna gain some confidence that I can do this. And I used to remember, because likes attract likes. I remember I used to buy and sell things on Craigslist, how much work it was to be online all day looking for something, to find it, have to leave on my lunch break or whatever, or to pack the kids into the car, go buy something, bring it back, fix it, resell it for like 20 bucks. So when I sold my first Shakeology and made a $30 commission, I was like, holy crap, that is so much easier than all of that other stuff I was doing. And so I was in, I was sold on how much easier it was. I don't want to say easy, but how much simpler it was than buying and selling things on Craigslist for me to just sit on my phone or on my laptop and message people, answer their questions, get them into P90X DVDs and make $30. Right, like right now it would be getting them into Beachbody On Demand for 99 bucks and get 40 bucks, right? That's, so once I got that first sell, I was sold. I was like, this is so much easier. This is so much better. So that's, that's the primary thing I do is helping them get success in the first um, few days so that they can be in. A lot of times when you see a coach cancel or disappear, it's they, they don't get that first win and they don't dive in or they just do training and training and training and training and training and they don't actually talk to people and make that first sell. And then they, they're like, oh, this doesn't work. I haven't made any sales, but they haven't actually talked to people. So the goal for me is to get them to get their story out there, start posting on Instagram stories, to start posting on Instagram, start talking to somebody and communicating to me what they're saying. And then I can help them answer, you know, realize the objection for what it is or get through that um, and get that first sell. So that's the, the primary thing I do. Uh, Jennifer says, I have an assistant. She works about 20 to 25 hours a month. Mostly does graphics and recognition graphics, things, like, things that are like that, um, that are like time suckers for her. Um, Andrea says, so I'm a coach with no rank. Is Elite 2020 realistic? It is realistic. You guys want to know, when I started as a coach, I didn't know how elite points worked. I didn't know how you earned the categories. I didn't know what rank you needed to be. Uh, but I just remember my, co my coach, Lindsay Matway, was on a trip, a top 10 trip in, I think it was Tahiti. And her and Jeff Hill sent me a video saying, hey, we hope to see you on the top 10 trip with us next year. We know you can do it. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. I didn't even ask what it took. I just kept working. But my goal was to hit Success Club 10 every month so I could earn the Success Club trip and earn $10,000 that year so that I could retire my wife from working at the hotel. Guess what happened by focusing on those goals? Hitting Success Club 10, and to build that team volume to earn 10,000, I needed to help my coaches advance their businesses. At the end of that year, I worked like seven days a week. I earned $10,800. We, we went from one star in the next few weeks, when Jennifer Greenberg was one of them, to three star diamond. And the elite ranking came out at the end of that year. I wasn't elite because I wasn't five-star diamond, but we were ranked with elite points at number 15 in the company without knowing how to earn points in the entire company at the end of that year. And so that was like, okay, we did 15 without knowing what we're doing. That next year, I looked at everything and said, okay, this is what I need. This is how I earn points. 
And that next year, our team was number four in the entire company because I knew what it took. I knew how to earn points. And I focused on that with the team and had that as a goal to be in the top five. And we ended up in the top four. So for a new coach, like, yes, totally possible. Uh, Bonnie Ingle is a part of our bigger team. She hit elite in 10 months from signing up. She signed up 10 months later. She was five-star diamond and elite. And she went in on to be top 10 coach the next year as well. So definitely possible. Um, that helps so much. I thought it was five consecutive weeks in a row. Okay, no. So that clarifies that for that. Um, I want to touch real quick on what Jennifer said. Um, my assistant does the same thing. Like my day, I ch my, my job is to check into the team page, answer questions, run my challenge group, which I call the Dynasty Strong Virtual Gym, do live videos in there, share videos in there, answer questions in there. And I do phone calls. Like I talk to people on the phone. I answer questions of uh, my coaches and what they want, uh, you know, help them with those things. So, okay, that's, uh, that's what I do. And then my mom makes all the graphics. She sends out new customer emails when a new customer lead comes in from the lead program. Um, sh she does that. Um, if you're one of my customers and you order a challenge pack, like, yes, you talk to me on the phone. Yes, you got a text from me, but you also got an email from my mom saying, hey, thanks for your order of Beachbody On Demand and the Nella Shakeology. That comes from my mom. So she does all of that stuff. Uh, she does all my taxes, files my receipts, all of that stuff that is time. That I don't enjoy that stuff. So my day is spent doing this, um, talking, teaching, mentoring, coaches, and challengers, and meeting new people and creating content. So, okay, I'm super excited for you guys. Looks like this, the questions stopped rolling through. I want to see it. Raise your hand if you want to go for Elite this year. I want to see. Let's do it. We're going to do it together. Um, I, I want to do it. I, I've fallen short before. We've hit Elite five times, and I've missed it a couple times, and we're going to make it happen this year. So, everybody, uh, real quick, I'm going to snap a picture of this because uh, give us a smile. Actually, uh, put, up, put up a number one, like we're number one. And that means you're going to hit elite. And then we'll put, I'll put it up on Facebook. You guys can tag yourselves. Okay. One, two, three. All right, guys. We'll see you guys. Um, this recording is up. So make sure that you share it with your teams as well. And as your teams join, like if you're articulating to your team that we're going to be in a, like, let's say Lamar, you're like, as you start finding your first coach, your second coach, and you're telling your team, we're going to be an elite team this year. They don't know what it is. So as you share this call with them and what this is, they're going to understand how them hitting success club is going to help them earn their commissions and achieve their goals, but also how it helps the bigger picture of the team hit elite. That's one thing I've always seen is that when, when my coaches and our team know that what they're doing counts for something bigger than even their own goals, we go for it. Like I remember, like I was a part of Lindsay Matway's 15 star diamond. I remember her just saying, Hey, we're going to build a 15 star diamond team. Uh, who's in and I'm like I want to be a part of that like I need to be diamond anyway so I'll be a part of that that goal too so let's go do it guys I believe in every single one of you guys we're dynasty strong I'm going to remind you guys we're empowering others to continually develop into their fullest potential we have a huge mission of ending the trend of obesity and we are going to continue creating the most sustainable and reliable source of income from home so your friends need that so don't be afraid to go out there and share that gift with them see you guys later